Aquarius. Welcome to the Love Love Reading. Thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, subscribed. If you guys have hit the notification bell or purchased the reading, thank you so much. This energy could be masculine or feminine. could be about you, the person you're thinking of, or your cross-watcher. Cross-watchers, if you do not have any Sagittarius in your chart, uh, no one around you that does just know that Spirit brought you here for a message, okay? So you want to take what resonates and you want to leave what does not. You have protection. Okay, you guys may be protecting yourself. Spirits, angels, guardians are protecting you as well. Right? You guys may have something going on with you where you need to protect other people as well. Um, as you can see, um, she's sort of cradling the world here. Um, you guys could have a calling to where you're healing others as well. <clears throat> Some sort of transformation going on here. You guys need to trust yourself. Stay grounded. Um, surround yourself with positive energy. If you can see, there's positive energy around her head there. Right? Imagine the white light around you. The white light of protection. So there could be some sort of danger around you. And you're urged to ask, you know, to, to make sure that you are assessing the situation carefully. Someone may be throwing magic at you as well. All right? As you open yourself up to um, higher spiritual vibrations, um, the divine will protect you. Some of you are magical. And that is why you're being protected. And some of you may need to protect your energy from other people because they could be trying to take it from you. You know, those are the energy vampires. You may need to protect yourself from people that come to just suck you dry. That's actually what I heard. Sagittarius. You have conclusion, which is the beginning and the end, right? So like a death and a, a rebirth and a vision here. So you have number 12, which breaks down to a three, which is creativity, groups, and growth. And you have an eight, which is mastery, action, and accomplishment. Okay? Since I don't have these cards memorized, let me get these messages. <clears throat> don't resist the conclusion for endings are important experiences and will help you build a stronger foundation for your next adventure this is also a warning to get all the facts before you draw a conclusion about someone you can't know the whole story if you haven't read to the end remain open even when an ending is final or a conclusion is correct this is a sign that a new story is about to unfold. Okay? So being, they're telling you don't judge anything or anyone right now because you don't know all the details. Okay? You may be coming to an ending with someone um, in order to start a new beginning as well. Okay? And with the eight card here, the message is as follows. Even if a loss feels devastating at the moment, you have so much to gain. If your question is about the future, you know the answer. The magical vision that you will receive here gives you the temporary power to see the future as a vast place 
full of possibility and potential. You're, yeah. yeah, they're basically saying here that if you lose something in life, something else is going to come in and replace it. So, yeah, those the rest of all of that was rubbish. But look, what they're saying is you need to protect yourself. You guys are going through some transformation. You guys are going through some ending and some new beginning, okay? Yes, things have to end for you to get to the other side, all right? So don't be afraid about the transformation that's happening right now is, is what I'm seeing. Move these and make some room. Zombie spirit, control, empty, submissive. What else, spirit? Unrealistic delusions, not as it seems. Okay. This is what's ending. You guys had a relationship with someone that was being controlled by someone else. And they had you sitting there waiting for a relationship to culminate. And it never did, right? Spirit of the Pegasus. Unrealistic delusions, not as it seems. Right there with a succubus. Spirit of possession. Right? This person put them through a lot of hardship and burdens. Right? Spirit of the apple. Test, offer, temptation. This person may be coming back at you to test you. Maybe sending you a love letter, an email phone call text message one more card thank you spirit right they want to play on your uh on your nurturing side they know that you care about them so they want to play on it this is what this person is going to be doing here You may have already had an ending with this person. This person may not be happy because you've ended things or they may have ended things with you and they're upset because you're, you're not coming to them. You're not offering them anything. You're not bothering them. You're in your own skin and you're doing what you need to do. Right? This person <clears throat> may be in their feelings because they feel like they're losing you. And Spirit is telling you that you are protected from this person. This person could be doing magic on you or the people around them could be doing magic on you as well. Spirit is saying, yes, this person is out of your life, but they will be replaced by someone that is better. Take it how it resonates with you. Yeah. What do I need to know? Sagittarius spirit. Mm -hmm. Some of you may have worked with this person or there may be something shady going on at work as well. Someone's going to get busted. Something happened to do with a phone. Somebody's going to be doing some sort of investigation. Right? Someone's looking up at the stars. Um, they're actually making wishes. Someone's wearing a false mask here. Someone's very emotional too. No. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I have DUI. Someone's out here drinking and driving. Drinking a whole lot. Someone may be winning a lawsuit. 
someone's doing negative spell work, which, which I told you guys up here, I saw that, right? Someone's trying to control someone with spell work. Someone may have been a stripper, or they may be messing with strippers right now. Or someone that sells their body for certain reasons. And there's some sort of theft here. Wow. Okay. This is a weird one, y'all. So this is not going to resonate with everyone. But uh, we're still taking it. Yeah, this person. What what do we need to know, Spirit? I told you I saw the the protection. I saw the spell work. So you have to make sure that you are staying in the know, making sure you're paying attention. Okay. Okay. I do not read reversals, but this is the Hermit in reverse. Okay. Spirit is telling me. To pay attention to it. All right. The hermit in reverse. Okay, so the hermit upright for me would be a Virgo individual, someone that's alone, they're soul searching, they're healing from a relationship, um, something that hurt them, they're taking like a timeout, retrospection, um, some sort of personal growth. Um, this person is being antisocial, okay. Um, needing therapy too, maybe going through an awakening, uh, psych psychic development. Um, someone that's basically alienating themselves, okay? So in the reverse, for me, this person could be trying to come out of all of that, right? Let's see what else we have here. Nine of Cups. And six of swords. Okay, so this is coming out of something. Yeah. So they're trying to come out of this. So someone's coming out of isolation to come towards you. Someone's been in isolation. They haven't been talking to you. They haven't been bothering you. They've just been wherever they are. And now they want to come towards you. Okay. They want to talk. You know, they, they don't want to uh, be parted from you anymore. They may want to tell you what was going on while they were in isolation as well. Okay, with this Nine of Cups, somebody could have Pisces in their chart. They want to come to you because they know that you're abundant. They want to have something with you, some sort of pleasure, some sort of fulfillment. And they feel like they need to travel. Okay, with the Six of Swords, they need to travel through some hard shit. To get to you okay this person could be attached to someone else <sighs> person could have aquarius in a chart right this person could be going again through the mental healing right now from whatever they went through with someone else or they are going through right now they're trying to move on with their life trying to make some sort of progression right they may be getting some guidance from within as well Right, so they're taking their life lessons here and trying to move forward with them. This may be the communication that you get from someone. Okay, they may tell you about all the stuff that they went through. So now that I'm seeing these cards that I pulled previously, I feel like this is what was going on with the person that they're with. This person, yeah, someone had a DUI. They were going through that. This person was emo emotional that they're with. Um, this person... You know, they may have busted them. They may have been, somebody was having sex with somebody at work. Something's going on here. Somebody's doing spell work, right? Somebody's stealing somebody's money. It's, yeah, it's a lot, okay? So this is what the person may want to speak to you about that's coming towards you. May want to tell you about all the shit that they've been through, okay? Give me one more card for the hermit. Reversed here, spirit. I'm not taking that. Hermit reverse, please. Thank you. Yeah. Yep, three of swords. Okay? They were going through some bullshit with some heartache over someone else. They may have put you guys through some bullshit as well. But they're healing right now from whatever this person did to them. And they want to come talk to you about it. Right? This person could have a Libra in their chart. Right? 
They want to communicate, right? Because they've been in separation from you. Um, somebody also could be having some sort of medical procedure being done. But yeah, this person wants to come and tell you about how somebody else hurt them after they hurt you. The Lord help me. I can't. What is the Nine of Cups, please, Spirit? Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is said, <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, they want to have good, they want to have, um, like, fulfillment with you after they fucked you over. This is Seven of Swords. Are you serious? For real? Again, this person can have Aquarius in their chart. Wow. Theft, deception, retrieving something lost, self-confidence, peace of mind, right? They want to come to you after they, yeah, did some shit they shouldn't have been doing. What is Six of Swords? Somebody's walking away here with the Eight of Cups. And the three of wands. <sighs> Someone's walking away. Oh, I just got hot. Again, this person could have Pisces in their chart. Walking away, making an emotional decision, turning away from somebody or something, going a different way, making a different choice. Right? With the three of wands, this is a, could be someone with Aries in their chart. Um, they're almost there. They have a little bit more work to do, trying to get themselves parted from this person or whomever they are right? Um, positive movement forward, right? Anticipating good things to come, right? Having a different outlook on everything too. Um, this is freedom, travel, hard work, success, um, moving forward, growth and expansion. This is what this person is trying to do. Yo, y'all, I don't know who this is for, but this is crazy. I'm sending you guys love and light and you guys take care.